I love the beginning of a new project and it looks like some packages have arrived so let's get these inside so we can start unboxing. I ordered this kit from the Bulkman 3D website and it took about 10 days to come from uh, Hong Kong to I'm in the Chicagoland area and they arrived in these three boxes. This is the second time I'm building one of these WorkBee kits. Um, the first one I had a couple years ago and uh, it worked, but it had a lot to be desired in the rigidity department. I actually ended up upgrading mine with linear rails and ball screws and stuff back then. And this kit looks like it has everything I wish the other one was. As I'm unboxing everything here, you can see how well everything was packaged. And all of the small hardware is uh, well labeled, so you know what you're looking at. I opted to not buy the motors or the spindle as I'm intending to use this kit for a, a fiber laser cutter uh, project and uh, obviously it's going to have a fiber laser cutter head on it and I'm going to use some AC servo motors instead of anything they offered. Boltman 3D has all of the assembly instructions on their website and overall they're pretty easy to follow along and understand. Uh, maybe there was a couple little spots where a little bit more clarification would help, but uh, overall they're pretty good. The first thing they ask you to do is to uh, unpack these bearing blocks and uh, soak them in alcohol to get the, all the packing grease out of it. Uh, every time, no matter how careful I am, I manage to have some little bearings fall out and it's always a huge pain to get them back in there. But anyhow, I get them all cleaned up and re-grease so that I can move along with the build. Before buying this kit, uh, I priced out all the individual components to see what it would cost me to build it from scratch. And it was only going to save me a couple hundred dollars. But uh, this kit was going to save me a ton of time in laying out all of the plates and getting those milled. So I th that's why I went this route. They include this little black Delrin block that's designed for aligning the linear rail onto the C-beams and uh, it works pretty well. I don't have any more commentary during the build so I'm just going to speed through it here with uh, some music and uh, I have do have some more final thoughts once I finished it so if you want to go ahead and skip towards the end.
complete. You can see here's uh, all the extras and spare parts I had left over. Hopefully I managed to get everything on there. And these are all for mounting the motor still, which uh, I've got to do. So here's the finished build. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It feels like it's going to be much more rigid uh, with the linear rails than my old uh, work bee kit that just used the, the roller wheels. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get um, get to start building a, a lower frame to support this uh, for my laser project. Then I gotta mill some custom motor mounts for the AC servo motors because the the screw holes are slightly wider than the mounts that came for this kit for the stepper motors. One of the things that I'm really annoyed with is uh, the grease fittings for all the linear rail blocks and the ball screws. Um, they're almost all just unaccessible, even with like a small pointed tip for a grease gun like this. Um, they're just barely accessible. So I wrote their customer support and said, hey, like, what do you expect us to do? And they said that they recommend on the Z axis, um, just putting oil on the rails and, and then rolling the carriage back and forth. But um, they say nothing about that in the assembly instructions. So, um, yeah, I wish there was an easier way to do this, but I'll probably end up just putting the grease directly on the rails or using oil uh, like they recommend. But uh, yeah, it's already, I've tried it a little bit and it's just so much messier to do that way. I really like how this kit is able to incorporate the ball screw inside of the seed beam. Uh, it makes it for a nice compact setup. Though, in doing that, they used uh, 12 millimeter ball screws, which I assume is probably so they could get uh, the ball nut small enough to fit inside there. So, uh, I like it, but I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to lead to some uh, 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 ball screw whipping uh, at high speeds. Um, actually, I didn't get a larger kit, the uh, 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 1500 millimeter length kit, because I was a little bit worried that that was going to happen. So. I went with the 1,000 millimeter uh, ball screws. On the Bulkman 3D website, they have a lot of verbiage about how this 12 millimeter ball screw is adequate for this size of a machine and the speeds it'll reach, but I still have my doubts. Um, they kind of lost my trust a little bit on my old kit whenever they sold it with the 2.2 kilowatt spindle. And in my opinion, it was just way too heavy for the machine and it allowed for way too much flex and resulted in a lot of chatter. So we'll see. We'll see once I run it. I will uh, do some tests and I will update this video or make an update video um, once I kind of see what the results of that are. Here's a sneak peek of how I built out a frame underneath the Ultimate B kit, uh, how I intend to use it with my uh, fiber laser cutter project. So yeah, uh, stay tuned if you want to find out more about that and how this uh, kit ends up working. Thanks.